Well, thanks for coming out on this lovely warm day to uh, uh, be a part of the announcement of the opening of our staging area in the city. Uh, this has become an integral part of our operational capability as a result of the decision to construct the new stables and the 12 sections we have to get across. This facility, which has 12 stables and 6 panels, means that our club operations staff and our main commercial operations staff will be able to, to deploy into the CBD provide that liberal person if it's necessary and also use this, this area to rest our horses and for our staff to uh, undertake administrative duties when necessary without having to return to the cross. This will be a key part of how we continue to manage uh, community safety within the, the precincts of the CBD and I'm sure having a look around and you see that it's an exceptional facility that's going to serve us very well. This is an, an enhancement to our capability and as a, as a comparison it's no more, uh, there's no more distance between here and the old federal barracks when it comes to our ability to report quickly from a, a resting staging area. So we're very happy that uh, we've had the last couple of days. This area is up and running and we have been putting patrols out uh, from this location for the last few days. Very successful. How has the transition been? Obviously it's a bit of an adjustment for not only the animals but the staff as well. Going from Severson now out to Jefferson and back into What's that transition been like? Oh look, it's, it's, uh, it's no secret that the announcement that uh, we were moving out of the CBD location of Jeff's Cross uh, was a difficult, uh, difficult set of circumstances for our staff to, um, to transition to. But having seen the facilities we have out at um, Jeff's Cross, uh, I don't think there's anyone who's not excited about the fact that we have a state-of-the-art facility that uh, really enhances the way we do our job. And that is complemented now by this new staging, staging site uh, in the CBD, which means whilst we have to adapt how we provide our response controls from a mounted and control operations perspective, um, we haven't diminished the amount of service we provide to the community. Um, there are always occasions when we need to adapt to change, and this has been one of those, and the, the team has adapted really well, and are now looking forward to operating in the new We have consulted heavily with the, uh, the neighbours in the staging area. Uh, there were some concerns raised in those early, early days about whether or not the noise from the site would be excessive or whether there were issues with um, odours. Uh, we've got steps in place with the waste management plan that will mitigate the problem of odours from the site. And this is not a permanent 24 7 facility, so I think the people who uh, didn't work close to the staging area won't notice any difference in effects. I think if you stand back and have a look, this, this enhances the amenity of this part of the, uh, the, the CBD. Uh, it's been really well constructed, it's an attractive looking site, and uh, the staff, I think, have got a great amount of enjoyment in being able to share what we're doing with people who are walking past. All those days that there are... This particular facility was called on the five million dollars. Jeff's Cross, uh, I think, is in the order of about nine million dollars. But uh, whilst those are significant numbers, important to stand back and understand the, uh, the infrastructure requirements, the health safety and welfare requirements, and the management requirements that go into building a contemporary facility of this type. And remember where we've come from. Uh, the Featherman Police Barracks was over 100 years old, and uh, I think any uh, objective assessment would tell us that it was well beyond its useful life, uh, although whilst we had no plans on moving from there until uh, the announcement was made about the Women's Children's Hospital, this is a timely opportunity for us to actually elevate the level of um, comfort we provide to our animals and the staff who work with our animals. Is there any sound in the facility for those days that are This has been designed to ensure that there's minimal disruption to what's happening in and around the staging area. And I'm confident that the businesses that work closely here or anyone who lives nearby uh, won't be disrupted by what's happening. Uh, having operated in the same location for over 70 years um, and with this uh, operational uh, methodology that relied on being centrally located, uh, to find out that um, a new facility was going to be 10 kilometres outside of the CBD, um, it, it did cause some concern, but we worked for all of those and, as I said, I think the staff are very excited now about the, the opportunity to work in a state of the art state and uh, uh, the doctor training facility as well as 
being able to complement their operating activities in a really you know, purpose-built, comfortable environment while they are in the CBD. Commissioner, just on another topic, obviously, it's a big weekend with a lot of school leaders heading down, uh, down to the coast. Uh, what, what would be your, your message to, uh, to the Federal of this weekend? Look, I think, on reflection, the school leaders is a really well uh, patronised event. And by and large, uh, most people who go there uh, have a great time and, and make sense of the decisions. And that's all we encourage people to do. If you're driving down, please uh, you know, comply with your obligations as a, as a road user. And if you don't have to drive, then don't. Um, look after your friends. Uh, if you are drinking, drink responsibly and, and have a good time. And just, just think about your own safety.